networking, it actually starts with the other person. A lot of people, when they come to network, they talk about me, me, me. They talk about themselves. They're so focused about them that they disregard the other person and they just go there and they're just wanting something. Now, when someone goes to you and just wants something, what's the you know, normal reaction? What's the natural reaction that you, you have? Your defenses are up, right? And you don't want to talk to, to them as much. You don't want to give in too much. And that's why um, it's, it's about building that rapport. It's about building that connection because you're, you're speaking to a person. You can't just expect to come up to a, a person you don't know. Let's say, imagine a friend that you're trying to speak to or someone that you're trying to be a friend with. You can't just go up to them and just ask, ask questions um, for yourself. You try to have to build a relationship. And it starts with that. It's actually building that relationship. We call that breaking the ice and getting to know more a bit about them, talking about that yourself as well, a little bit about you know, what is your interests, your hobbies. It's not straight into business. And that's the key because you want to start to, to lower their, I guess, their guard and have that for the relationship. That's the key to starting to network. Because once you have that and you establish that, you're then able to, to ask the questions that you want to know. The second part is you need to be succinct. No one wants to constantly hear someone that's just speaking on and on and on because you will then lose interest as the other person. So keep what you say or your answers and questions very straight to the point in a networking session because you don't have a long time to network either. Yeah, so key is build that rapport, second, be succinct.